A new Tyranid life form has been found on this planet. We are here to seek it out and purge it from existence. We march for McCraig! Tack is bringing his beloved Ultramarines, and Tycho is as happy as a gaunt in biomass to be playing with the new Tyranid Codex. I am Tycho, the child of the warp for today. The Tyranids are here! So are the Ultramarines. Oh, okay. Food. <laughs> Food. We get to play brand new bugs. All brand new bugs. Well, as many brand new bugs as I can stuff in here. So, yeah, Norn Assimilator, every single lictor known to man, including a Neuro Lictor. I'm not even sure what he does. This is going to be a game of discovery. <laughs> Speaking of discovery, I'm playing something that's a little bit more narrative focused on my side. Sometimes you build lists to be competitive, sometimes you build lists because you want to forge a narrative. I'm imagining that this is a scouting force of Ultramarines because they've caught wind that there is a brand new monster, so they've sent a scouting party to try to locate the new Norn. Trailing behind them is the Ballista's Dreadnought that has been sent to kill the new Norn. So it's got I've Shoot to kill orders. Right. Tax Tyranid Hunting Scout Force consists of a captain in Phobos armor with the Honor Vehement, a librarian in Phobos armor, 10 assault intercessors, a squad of aggressors with flame sword gauntlets, a ballistas dreadnought, some blade guard vets, an eliminator squad, two squads of infiltrators, one 10 man squad of reavers, and another five, and a five man terminator squad. 1,500 points of all-around, take-all-comers kind of list. Definitely looks like he's hunting for that Norn Assimilator with all the scouts and infiltrate moves. I think the Terminators are going to be key. They need to get in and smash some stuff in close combat as he doesn't have a ton of long-range support. Today, I get to play Tyranids. Vanguard invading Tyranids. This is so cool. This is out of this brand new codex. I can't wait to show it off. We've got some amazing models that we're going to be able to bring to the table, including the Norn Assimilator. Tycho is bringing Death Leaper as his warlord, because you can do that now. How cool is that in a 1500 Vanguard Onslaught detachment? He's got Death Leaper and another Lictor, as well as a Neuro Lictor, a Biovore, the Norn Assimilator, Neuro Tyrants with 11 Neuro Gaunts, some Von Ryan's Leapers, some more Von Ryan's Leapers, two Winged Primes, a squad of Hormigaunts and a squad of Termagaunts, a Psychophage, and a Broodlord with 10 Gene Stealers. I gotta tell you, the amount of infiltrate and shenanigans Tycho has got in this list with all these Lictors really makes me wonder if it's gonna become a scout off and how important turn one is gonna be. We're playing Take and Hold as a primary mission, so five victory points per held objective up to a maximum of 15 per turn and 50 for the game. We're gonna play Targets of Opportunity. We're both playing Tactical, but with Targets of Opportunity, we're drawing three cards Ooh. instead of two, and we get to keep them all. I think that benefits both armies. This could be one of those lethal attrition games where we're losing models pretty quickly. Very, very possible. I do have Gribblies that like to eat brains. I would like to keep my brains in my brain case, hopefully. Tack has chosen to add his Phobos Captain to a squad of Infiltrators, his Phobos Librarian to the squad of Eliminators, Tycho's putting his Broodlord with the Gene Stealers and the Neuro Tyrant with the Neuro Gaunts, Tack's got the Terminators in Deep Strike, and Tycho has both Wing Primes in Deep Strike as well. You need to determine Attacker Defender. I rolled a one! You did, I rolled a five. I would like to deploy first. Okay. And the reason why I am deploying first is because I do have Infiltrator units. Ooh. And so do you. Yes. You can't afford to deploy within nine inches of my models. That's right. What I'm going to do is this. To cover as much map as possible. To block out where So you I can't even are... get on the middle one. Yeah. Sneak back in here with a lictor. I'm going to continue the block out game. I'm going to take this infiltrator squad. They're going to go there. Neuro lictor with his friend the lictor. Because I wanted to have a nest of lictors. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> On the center objective. Almost. Assault Marines here. All right. I'm going to put some Vaughn Ryan's Leapers way back here. My snipers are going to try to do snipery things. We've got Captain Woody attached to them. Let's do some more Vaughn Ryan's Leapers. Flamers. Because Flamers do so well against Leapers, they're going to also go right on the line.
All right on the line, I'm hoping to just move forward and get onto that objective. I want to kill the cyclophage. Well, I know where your ballistas is now. No one can go here. If the big fight's going to be in the middle, the right. Ultramarines are not one to back down. With the ability to pull three tactic cards off the hop, so they're going to start on the table and they've got eyes on the prize. Hopefully they're going to be able to get that objective over there. And I am fully deployed. Death Leaper. Let's see who goes first. A one. As long Sorry. as I don't roll one. Uh, uh. I get to go first. I'm going to use Master of Deceit here. Choose three units that have Phobos armor and uh, redeploy them. Tack is using Master of Deceit to redeploy up to three units in response to Tycho's aggressive deployment. Scout move up. He also has scout moves, as does Tycho, so it's really a game within a game here, like a 40k inception. Quick, somebody spin it top. Reavers here are going to scout. Not towards the Jinsu. Not towards the Jinsu. <laughs> and they've got eyes on that objective in the middle. On to turn one. Turn one. Good luck, Tack. Good luck to you. This episode's sponsor is Baron of Dice. Baron of Dice makes fantastic resin dice for all your favorite games, not just 40k. Their hand squirreled and laser etched resin have zero mold lines or balance issues without micro bubbles. We love them so much that our play on dice are from Baron of Dice, including these exclusive Victor dice. For all your custom dice needs, your go to should be Baron of Dice. My Norn assimilator has a singular purpose, and that's the center objective. So he's going to be going for that objective, and he gets some bonuses when he's nearby. He'll have a fail and a pain of five up, and he will have a. OC of 15. The singular purpose of the Norn. Tax first turn, and he's chosen Oath of Moment on the Cycle Fade to try to get rid of that Feel No Pain as soon as he can. He's choosing Devastator Doctrine, so all his units will be able to advance and shoot, even if they don't have assault weapons. All right, here come the Space Marines. And for secondaries, tax drawn, engage at all fronts, cleanse, and behind enemy lines. Ooh, engage and behind enemy lines could be tough. We're on advance on the Reaver Squad. I'm going to just try to get to the middle objective. Whee! Seven inches. I need the points uh, early, so I'm going to choose to use a command point here to re-roll. And he's using a command re-roll right away out of command points, but he's got to get to that objective in order to be able to cleanse it. I hope you brought your scrubbing bubbles. Oh no! I'm going to try to mitigate the charge from the Gene Stealers, but still get line of sight onto Psychophage. Both Tax Reaver squads are choosing to cleanse. That's gonna get him five secondary points right away, but it also sets up a potential first turn charge for Tycho. Moving on to the shooting phase, there's not gonna be a lot. I'm gonna start with the aggressor squad here into the Lictor. So how many shots do I get? <laughs> What's gonna happen here, Tycho, is because you are the closest unit to them, they get an additional AP. I am looking though, unfortunately, for fives. Rerolling your twin linked. AP1, saving on fives. I save one, I take two wounds, I have four left. Then let's move on to the Ballista Dread. And the Ballista Dread is going to fire everything it's got into the cycle phase. We're gonna start off the party with the Laz Cannon. Gotcha, bam bam. Cycle phase taking some shots now from the Ballista Dreadnought. Double sixes, that's not good. I save one. D6 uh, plus one. Four damage, I go on fives. I ignore two, two of them, nice. take two. You're down two wounds. Here come the rockets. Same thing, I've got two shots here. So we now threes. That was both wound. Save neither. Okay. For D6 damage each. Uh oh. That's two failed saves and 12 damage. Oh, oh no! I'll take that. Oh boy. Alrighty, he's got to do well on his uh, ignore wounds here, otherwise he's bad. Tycho makes six five up field of pains. Oh wow, two wounds left on the cycle phage. That's not fair. Oh, six five up? He's alive. This is what the storm bolters are for. Ooh, oh right. yeah. So here come the storm bolters. I miss with both. Because of your oath of moment, I get to reroll the farm. Oh, they I hit, hit with both. Now you need sixes. But now I need sixes. Uh, no, nothing. And last chance. I need, I need box cars. 
Not a single one. Oh, I really needed the ballistas to take out the psychophage. My psychophage has survived. That's pretty impressive. The eliminators up top here, and they could easily take out some of your gaunts in the back. However, since I didn't move, I have devastating on their weapons. I'm going to try Hail Mary. I'm going to go into your Norn. So I've got three shots. I'm hitting on twos because they are heavy and I did not move. So I hit with everything. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a six. Three devastating wounds. Which I can ignore on sixes because I'm nearby to my second page. Assimilator, assimilate. Oh, assimilation. I take a wound. Psychophage living has absolutely paid off. So then I'm going to declare charges now. I'm charging with the Blake Vets. Let's see if I can get into your Lictor that's behind that wall. I don't need much. I don't Ooh, need much. But that's but not much. Oh, no. Assault Marines. They're going to go into the Lictor as well. well. Okay. Six. That should do it. All right. So you've charged my Lictor, but he has fights first. And it's your fight phase, meaning I get to pick the first fighter. He's got six attacks, and he hits on twos. And he's upset. He charged him. He feels all conflicted about it. I have a strength of seven, so I'm wounding you on threes. There you go. Lecter has fight first. Two assault intercessors get munched before Tack even gets to fight. I lose two Marines. They're dead. I'm hitting on threes. I'm wounding on fives. We're rolling ones. So hitting on threes. Two fives, and I can reroll those ones. You have four wounds? I have four wounds. Only two, saving on fives. Neither, I'm down to two wounds remaining on my Lictor. So not a very eventful turn for the Ultramarines. Really, it was about board position and trying to score what points I could. Now, I just need to survive the Tyranid Reprisal. Tack does score five victory points for cleansing. He's discarding and engaged at all fronts for a command point, and he's keeping behind enemy lines as he does have Terminators into Deep Strike next turn. On a Tycho's turn one now. The top three are cleanse. Tycho draws assassinate, storm hostile objective, and cleanse. Assassination. Oh, this is very appropriate. So he needs to hold objectives and get some kills. Not a bad draw. And where are all the characters? The characters are way back there and way back there. That's hard to get at. All right, well maybe the, the, the assassination has to come later. But I do like the assassination. In the command phase, uh, my neural lictor takes a look at these nasty, nasty intercessors in front of them and doesn't want you to be able to use shenanigans upon them. The Neurolector and the Death Leaper working together, forcing a battle shock test using neuro disruption and kicking in his psychological saboteur ability. There's an intercessor within six of Death Leaper. Okay. Which means that you're gonna be taking your leadership test at a minus one. I need to take a battle shock test on the assault intercessor. That's right. They Ooh, fail. they're they battle fail. shocked. These assault intercessors are battle shocked which means they're gonna get minus one to hit and I get plus one to wound them when you're near my Neuro Lictor. So I'm gonna put my Tentaclids from my Neuro Tyrant onto my Von Ryan's Leapers and my Hormigants. Psychophage, he's gotta get in there before more bad things happen to him. So I'm gonna advance my Gene Stealers because they can advance charge okay. and I might have tricks to get onto that objective some other way. Tycho advancing his Gene Stealers and Tack responds with Overwatch. There are three aggressors there. I get D6 plus one shots. Uh-oh. Oh, not stunning. Wounding on fours. Because of Twin Linked, I'm going to try again. Saving on fives. Two dead Gene Stealers for one command point. Not sure if that's going to be enough. Move my Vaughn Ryans. True to form and his game plan, Tycho's being very aggressive with the Lictors and the Leapers, really getting into Tax Grill just as soon as he can. I will advance my Hormigaunts. Ooh, Hormigaunts are off like a shot. <laughs> The Norn. I'm gonna spend one command point on Seated Broods. Tycho's spending a command point on Seated Broods here. He's gonna drop in one of the Wing Primes early. Sneaky, sneaky. I can't help but feel that the Marines have brought the wrong kind of power armor to this bug hunt. Psycho Classic Torrent. We're gonna start with torrenting on your poor, poor aggressors. Psychophage opens up with its Psycho Classic Torrent into those aggressors. I take a wound. Now we're gonna scream at them. What? Psychic scream from the from behind. Again, lobbing it through the reavers. Uh, do these reavers just not exist to you? Oh, they exist. They're food for charging. Here comes a psychic scream. Blah! Oh, only five. It's a little quiet psychic scream. Blah. 
Uh, needing five, only one wound. One, I believe, and two wounds. Oh, so that would just kill him. But guess what, I deny you. You deny me! I have been denied. My Toxin Injector Harpoons are going after your aggressors as well. Toxin Injector Harpoons! I hit once. Into the aggressors as well. I would like this to be a six. It's a one! <laughs> I skewered him! Six damage. And they managed to take only one down. I have one last shot. The Biovore is going to pound into you Reavers over here. I get plus two to my D3 shots because you're a squad of 10, I believe. I am. So that's five shots. Hitting a force. Looking for sixes for devastation. That's no devastation, but that's one wound. I got a four up. He's fine. Hey. That is the shooting phase. Okay. Because they can't shoot because they're scrubbing bubbles. Mm hmm. They're what scrubbing bubbles? They're using scrub. They're not scrubbing the bubbles. Maybe they are. They're not very smart. They're timer guns. Charge phase, turn one for Tycho, and boy howdy, there's a lot. So bear with me. The cycle phase is in. The Von Ryan's Leapers are in. The Nord Assimilator is in. Yeah. Ah, assimilate. The Neurolector is in. More Von Ryan's Leapers are in. The Death Leaper is in. The Hormigons are in. The Gene Stealers into support, just into the Reaver. The Gene Stealers fail. Tycho Command rerolls. No joy on the Gene Stealers out of command points. But hey, when you make seven of eight charges, things are definitely going your way. I can't believe the Gene Stealers failed the charge. This could go to turn two. This might go to turn two. <laughs> While the Gene Stealers fail their charge, no one else is failing their one in charges, so I'm in trouble. Where would you like to start? Because I have one command point and no way to interrupt. Okay, so I can just kind of start by chargers and go firsters. The Ultramarines had this scouting party that had to go and find the monsters. You found they them! have found the monsters. Fight face now, and the Reaver's fearsome assault roll kicks in. Tycho needs to roll Battleshock. You roll your three dice and minus one. Feels like a bit superfluous as he rolls it on 3d6, but one of the units of Von Ryan's Leapers fail anyway. So no command stratagems for them. Oh no. Oh, no. I don't know what's going on. You have silly masks. Blade Guard are choosing to reroll one so they're invulnerable saves. All right, Mr. Death Leaper. I like her. Winning on threes. Ooh, Death Leaper doing work. Look at all those fives. Uh, I damaged two. Okay, so you have killed two of them? Von Ryan's Leapers. <laughs> That's your Reavers. So that is a Reaver and a half. That was not as much as I thought was going to happen. Yeah. Let's do more Leapers. So many attacks. Tycho is just munching the Marines, but good. One dead. That's two dead. That's three dead. And that's four dead. That Reaver stands tall. The wounded Lictor. So five ups. I'm going to be okay. I am not going to be okay. I'm going to pull the funds farthest away. Neuro Lictor. This time it's going to be five. He does one whole wound. Oh, one wound. He hits a little less harder than his uh, counterpart. Yeah. Norn Assimilator. It's monstrous scything talents. These are on twos as well. Five ups. I got two fives. You kill the one with the one wound. So the one that got licked before. Now here's the Chucks Injector Harpoon melee attacks. Strength of 12. Four wounds. They have minus three. And they're D6 plus one damage. The X ones are minus two. Yeah, their X ones are better than the regular ones. Okay. There's one Reaver, two Assault Intercessors left mid-table, and seven Reavers left on the flank. So one Hormagon could not make it. Hormagons! Nibble! Half shield, we'll use. Please? Make the farm. Nope. Nope. Hormagons chomp a wound off of one of the Blade Guard vets. Tis only a flesh wound? Tis only a flesh wound. I was a little bit doom and gloom before the fight phase. I thought this would be much more devastating than it has been. But you dodge my psychophage and have survivors all across the front. I do. Yeah. So you have to fight back. I do get to fight back. The one cheeky reaver over here. That's his name, that, Cheeky Yeah, <laughs> that kind of grabbed the Von Ryan Leaper and said, hey, stand here for a second. The tentacles are like, I can't quite get to him. Hi-ho, lone reaver, away! Ouch, says the Von Ryan Leaper. Other reaver squad. And they're gonna pile. Two can fight into the Death Leaper, and the other five have to fight into the Von Ryan Leaper. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Who needs math? 
Tycho, I'm so tired. I know, Chad. You did a fantastic job painting, and we appreciate your sacrifice. This is a Planet Tabletop special where I'm taking my painted models and killing my painted models. Die, painted models, die! The large Reaver squad goes back into the Von Ryan's Leapers. Oh, what a to wound roll. That's brutal. Out of all those dice, oh, no. I only converted four. Oh, well. Save your own force. I don't save enough to save a Leaper. Into the Death Leaper. Death Leaper gets slapped around a little bit. He takes a wound. Death Leaper down to six. I'm doing incidental damage. This is where I go from incidental damage to full aggression. Full aggression. Blade Guard Vets. Uh-oh. They have four attacks each. Uh-oh. I run away. You came at me. <laughs> Into the brand new Hormagons that were so much fun to paint. And then now I'm wounding on threes. Blade guard vets into those sexy new Harmagons. Down go six of them. My theory is, as much as I would like you dead, my first three pulls from the tactical deck were all secondary based. I might get to kill one next turn. Ooh, bank his kills. He's yeah. getting greedy. This is a game of points, and I need those points. So I get four attacks. Yep. Normally hitting on threes, I'm hitting on fours now. This is going to the regular lecture that has two wounds remaining. Fives. Here we go. I get... Uh, uh oh, two. I save on fives. Don't die. Roll well. I saved one. Yeah. You got it. Yes. I am still alive with one wound left. Oh, the lictor still exists. Neuro lictor, same thing, hitting on fours. I wounded two. I uh, save one, fail one. Neuro lictor down to six wounds. What? A turn one. Seven of eight charges for Tycho. I did get the storm hostile objective with this one. I score another five for having completed two cleanse actions. And the assassination, sadly, looking at this table, I'm actually going to cash this in for command point. Tycho has scored 10 on secondary points. He stormed hostile objective and cleansed two objectives. And at the end of turn one, we have a score of 10 to five in Tycho's favor. Stop behind enemy lines. That's from uh, the previous turn. I'm going to pull overwhelming force. There are two over there that are on. I am nibbling first in all these places. I know, which is why the tactical doctrine. Area denial. Oh. oh, ditching area denial with new orders. So he's going to have bring it down, overwhelming firepower, and still has behind enemy lines. All eminently doable this turn. So I need to kill him, and I just I need to kill him in the simulator. Not a problem. Okay. The two that I needed are not the two that I pulled. Because I pulled bring it down, I need to hail Mary here, and I'm going to elect the Norn simulator as my Ozamoma target. I owe you some battle shock. You do. You know, battle shock here. The battle shock here. But wait. Tycho is calling for Shadows of the Warp, his once per game ability. Tac's gonna have to make battle shock tests on everything in the field, and with the Neuro Tired around, it's gonna be at minus one, but Marines have leadership six and seven, so this should be okay. Shadows from the Warp. Shadows of the Warp. Shadows in the Warp. Lone Reaver is gonna take a battle shock test. Uh, he fails. Oh, the Reaver fails. The Assault Intercessors are gonna take a battle shock test. They're battle shock too. The aggressors would love to use the stratagem. Except the aggressors have failed. Which means no overwatch. The Ballista's Dreadnought. Oh boy, the Dreadnought's failed. Battle Shock Eat. You might need more tokens. Infiltrated squad that has a captain in it. Got lots of tokens. You're going to say no to your Battle Shock, apparently. They're like, I'm fine. Blade Guard. Blade Guards. Uh, Reaver Squad. Oh, the big Reaver Squad failed. Infiltrated squad in the back here. The Infiltrators have failed. Captain Woody and his snipers. Not Woody! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The Eliminators have failed! Ho oh, ho! So much for Tactical Doctrine. Tactical Doctrine is gonna allow TAC to fall back and shoot and charge. However, with so many Battleshock units, it's gonna trigger desperate breakout for all of them. The only unit I really, really did not need to uh, fail because that's going to make five points. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is roll a dice. Desperate breakout for the Reaver. The Reaver fails his desperate breakout tests and he goes away. The aggressors are going to hold firm and not give Tycho an opportunity to overwatch. Not much movement in it otherwise. The Shadows on the Warp has really thrown a wrench at attack's plans here. So I do have behind enemy lines. This isn't a lot of points because it won't be two units. However, it's still something. Terminators deep strike in and the Neuro Tyrant overwatches. How many shots you got? Only four. Go to three up. I'm um, okay. Here are two heavy bolt pistol shots. They're going to go into the lictor that has a wound remaining. I'm stealthy. That made me miss with both. 
Yeah! Infiltrators shoot into the Hormigons and absolutely pace the squad. Tax on the board with a kill. Eliminators into the Leapers mid table, just chewing through them. I make one. Psychophage is nearby. Nope, you're dead. Psychophage, save Leaper number two. He says oh, yes. He, he died real good with his sniper shot. And then the other guy made one of his field of pains. Got seven Reavers over there. Oh, Ouch. Fun. Fire the flamers into the leapers. Bone Ryan leapers. Gotcha. So that's d6 plus one each. Seven, eight, nine. I am wounding on fives, but this is twin links. Yep. Save on fives. The aggressors only kill one leaper. Oh no! Blitz's Dreadnought is going to take his storm bolters and put it into the gene sealers. It's going to take the last cannon and the crack profile of the missile launcher. It's going to go into the north. The storm bolters first. I'm hitting on threes. I'm winning on fours. It moved. I think you're within six. Nope. Ballistic Dreadnought into the Dorn Assimilator. This is where it changes. Oh, a miss. Please. One miss. Oh, no. On three. That's that a is a wound. A five. Definitely not what I want to see. All right. Crack missiles. Uh, both hit. Both hit. The spin. No spinning. Nope, not, not the spin of glory. But this, this is, this is beautiful. I'm saving this on threes. I only save one of them. D6 damage? That's a one! I can ignore it on a five up. Please don't. I do not. That's brutal. That's really feeling the pressure here. All of the infiltrators are gonna fire into the gene sealers. Threes, because they're not stealthy. Save on fives. Mm -hmm. I don't save any. Five field no pains at six for the fade. Don't make any of them. Two down, three down. Terminators, target the Biovore. I thought he'd try to finish off the cycle fades, but maybe he's trying to do it in combat. Save one, take one. He's down to four wounds remaining. Aggressors into the cycle fade on the charge. Aha, uh -huh, there it is. The aggressors charging the cycle fade. On Ryan's leapers get pouncing leap. I can perform the heroic intervention stratagem for zero command points with my Bon Leaper. <laughs> uh, I'm in. The problem is, those two are dead. Yes. But they're in the way for the Blade Guard vets to get into engagement range with them. Right. So I'm going to try a charge here into your lone Von Ryan Leaper. That is an 11 again. Oh. Terminators into the Nurgons. Tack has to reroll. He's got no command points left. Five. <gasps> and That's ten. a 10. In they go. They are in. But he's in with a 10. I'm going to try to pile more attacks. Infiltrators into Death Leaper. Success. Can they take a wound off the big guy? At the beginning of the fight phase, you have some battle shock to take, which is over here. Death Leaper. He's just okay, I think. Minus one. Minus one? I'm not okay. We go into the fight first sub phase, and then you get to elect the first fight first, but then I get to elect the second one. If I manage to take down an aggressor, I could save my bio phase. That, I think, is the ticket. Here we go. Von Ryan Leaper. A single Von Ryan Leaper try to take down an aggressor, hoping to save the cycle phage. No joy. So one aggressor is down to two wounds remaining. Now we're kind of seeing some really good synergy between Shadows of Warp, as well as some of the units that you have on the table. I go to hitting on fours now with my boots. Infiltrators into Death Leaper, trying to overwhelm that saving throw. Ah, uh, nope, didn't work. My fight's first. I'll just go with Death Leaper. He'll fight back. Eat them. Suck their brains. Okay, winning on threes. Ah, uh, now twos, ah. because you are battle shocked. Uh, five ups. I make uh, one. So that would be potentially three. There are two ones each. Now this is a helix comet. Uh, save one. No, he's dead. Do I survive? Nope. Do you kill two? The other Von Ryan sleepers go into the Reaver squad and kill two more. Oh boy. Hero Lictor is going to finish you off. He's going he's gonna to get the honors. Okay. Oh, the Lictor eats the Assault Intercessors. They are dead. They are dead. I got him. You did. Right? Might not be able to pull down your Psycho Fage. I need some hot rolls here. <laughs> Hit him for us. The aggressors have failed to kill the Psycho Fage. Oh, no. Didn't manage to take the Psycho Fage out. Norn Assimilator is also still up. Those are big points that I'm not able to score this turn. Psycho Fage lives. Blade Guard take down the last Von Ryan's Leaper mid-table. Terminator smacks some Nurgons about. About two and a half to each. They've killed a lot of Nurgons, but the best part about this is that I'm able to consolidate forward. 
And because I'm equal distance to the Biovore as well as the Neurogons, I'm able to tap both. Does this guy have to go after a Neurogon because he's- That's correct. I see. This is gonna shut down a little bit of that shooting because as an infantry model. But I get to fight with my Psychophage, I get to fight with my Neuro Tyrant, and I get to fight with my Biovore. Psychophage takes down the aggressors. I don't score behind enemy lines. I don't score bring it down, even though that thing only had two wounds remaining. That Von Ryan was not on that objective when I killed it. So overall force did not score, bring it down, did not score behind enemy lines, I did not score. 10 10 tie, and he's kept all three of his secondaries as every single one of them is eminently scorable. No prisoners, capture enemy outpost, and secure no man's land. Okay. I've got to make sure to keep the pressure if I'm going to score those big points. Psychophage Battleshock is the norm. Neuro Tyrant. Oh, Neuro Tyrant's Battleshock. Weird. Lictor's fine. 15 points on primary for Tycho takes us to 25 to 10 in his favor, and he's got two command points to tax one. Chance for my Biovore to get out of there. Biovore is leaving combat. I'm going to advance my Gene Stealers because they can advance charge. Three. Lorna Masseri is going to go after those Terminators. Okay. Let's start with the Neuro Tyrant. He's going to Neuro Tyrant your Terminators. Yeah. Blarg! Seven. I take two. That kills the Terminator. Psychophase shoots into the Blade Guard vets. One there, so down to one. The Norn. Harpoons. I'll shoot Blade Guard veterans. Harpoons. Both hit. Wounding on twos. Both wound. Here we go. I make one. One is dead. Termagons have no effect in shooting. We'll charge. Norn, charging your Terminators. The Norn Assimilator charges the Terminators. I'm going to charge both your Ballista Dreadnought and the Infiltrators with my Gene Stealers. Here they go. On the charge! That's a four. That's not enough. Unless it is. Uh, you're five inches away. Gene Stealers go into both the Dreadnought and the Infiltrators. Psychophage reaches the Blade Guard. The Lictor and the Neuro Lictor are in as well. Termagants, Infil what's its. Looks like you don't have enough to interrupt me, so I can go with my fights first stuff. You can, however, there is some sort of fight phase things to do. Blade Guard vets are going to choose to reroll ones on their involve. Shields of the Emperor, shields of the Blade Guard, shields of the something. Reverse get to do their magical thing. Battleshock, Battleshock, Battleshock. Battleshock on the gaunts. Uh, I'm okay for once. Death Leaper. Minus one. Ah! He's Battleshocked again, yay. Von Ryan Leapers. They're battle shocked again! <laughs> Just a game of battle shocking. They're so shocked. But I'm gonna go fight phase thing with my Broodlord. Hypnotically gaze deep into the eyes of your infiltrators and make the minus one to hit. And here come the Gene Stealers. They're gonna come and take the pants off of that dreadnought and a few of your readers as well. So you have one Gene Stealer that can fight into the infiltrators? Here he comes. Hits on twos. You roll ones to hit. If I'm within an objective marker, you roll ones to wound. Heading on twos. Here we go. Thing. All hit. Devastating wounds. Looking for sixes. Strength of four. So fours or sixes. No devastating. Five ups. So I make none. Funeral pains. Uh, woo. He survives. 16 attacks <laughs> into your dreadnought. We roll on the ones. One devastating wound into the ballistas. Got 11 wounds remaining. But your Broodlord probably has something to say about that. He is going to show him how it's done. Broodlord, however, just decides to scratch some paint. The Psychophage managed to kill one more Blade Guard vet, and the Lictor finishes him off. Woo! That Lictor's doing work. He's managed to axe multiple squads. He's got one wound remaining. This is the hero of the Tyranid side. Death Leaper, let's do it. Death Leaper takes down the Infiltrators. 10 Termagants. Fit on fours, but I'll check. Nope. I have two yeah. leapers left. Yep, and they have fight first they as a do. rule. Yep. Whoo, this fight first thing is uh, a little rough. Yeah, I might need a whole whack of leapers. Five wounds minus one. Minus one. Here we go. <laughs> More reavers are dying. All right, let's assimilate some terminators. Ah ah ah! Norn assimilator. Strength of nine. 
Toughness five and winning on threes. Which I make one. <gasps> I eat a Terminator. <laughs> Looking for twos. This is D6 plus one damage, Terminator one. That's a three, four damage, down he goes. Three, total. Only one Terminator left, oh no. I'm going to go with that Terminator into the simulator. And I'm wounding on fives, but I'm rerolling because of the moment. Goes to a four up. Make one, fail one, take two damage, down to 12 remaining. Three, that can fight into the gene cellar. Minus one to hit, because they've been hypnotized. We're hitting on fours. Save neither, use a gene sealer. Armored feet. A couple gene sealers go down, but... Ned. Ned? All right, Ned is dead. Then I've got Reavers into the Von Ryan Leapers. With my combat knives. Save me on fours. Okay. That does kill him. I get to score some points at the end here. I secured no man's land, double no prisoners, and I did not capture the enemy outpost. At the end of round two, we've got a score of 34 to 10 in favor of Tycho. The hive mind is happy. Oh boy, howdy. This is brutal. Not looking good for the Ultramarines as a game, but one of my favorite parts about Warhammer 40k is the forging of the narrative. Right. This story is centered around the Ultramarines needing to find out what this Norn Assimilator thing is and taking it out. We're gonna continue that story, scouting into this territory, looking for the new monster, and they found it. They did. We found it. At the sacrifice of the many, we're gonna take out the one. I am going to also moment that Norn Assimilator, and this is a round. This is a round, I take it out. Tax turn three, and time for some Pyrrhic victory moments. Oath of moment on the Norn Assimilator, absolutely, let's kill the big bug. That was the goal from the start. We may have lost the battle, but we are definitely not going to lose the war. Spending a command point in adaptive tactics to fall back the Dreadnought to be able to shoot at full ballistic skill at the Norn Assimilator. Got a Battleshock on that Terminator. He is not okay. The Terminator, however, is Battleshocked. He's gonna have to fall back in order to be able to shoot at full ballistic skill into the Norn Assimilator and risk desperate breakout. Oh boy. Walk back this way with my 11 wounds. Oh, you got a bead. I got a bead on him. Oh yeah, I can even see both your weapons. The Eliminator's staying put. They're gonna proc devastating wounds while they're shooting. The Terminator, so, because I'm Battleshock, this is a desperate breakout. But on one or two, he just dies. That is probably a one. Rolls a one! Dead Terminator! So, Tycho has decided that the Norman Simulator is just munching on this Terminator and has his back turned to all my guns. So, this is my chance. Snipers are gonna fire into the Norn- Snipers sniping into the Norn Simulator. Oh, there's the Oath reroll, that'll help. Oh, there's a six. There's a six. Can't save that, down to nine. And then now, this is what we're waiting for. Can the Ballistus Dread do it? Can he end it? That is a six and a one, and we're rolling this. Oh, double sixes, Ultramarine! Oh, there's one! There's one, can we do it? No, so one, three up. I've taken a crack missile to the face, I need to re-roll this. My assimilator must assimilate! He has assimilation. Uh, all right, let's see if I can do it with the last one. Now, hand. here's the big one. I've got nine wounds, right? I've got nine wounds. I can't reroll nothing anymore. Oh, come on. Be the hero. The hero. The hero. OK, OK. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. I need threes here. He can do it. He can do it. I need fours to survive. Oh, no. You've got nine wounds to get through. You've got 2d6 plus two. You've got to hit at least a three and a four. You need seven. That Norn Assimilator has nine wounds remaining. If I can roll really big on this damage, I take it out. And that's going to be my moral victory. D6 plus one. <gasps> oh, big wow, damage. you nailed him. <laughs> oh, it's down. Down goes the Assimilator. <laughs> Dice tell stories here. However, while we've got a great story, we have not much of a game left. I've got a Blissless Nerd, not, not an objective. I've got these are just gonna die to all of this. The Terminator died heroically. He did. As a distraction for the assimilator. I call it a chew toy. <laughs> a chew toy. <laughs> and while they have survived a lot here, I only have two units left on them. Death Leaper will get through them eventually. On that note, I am conceding. 
Tyco, well played. Yeah, I agree with the concession. Good call, gentlemen. That's going to make our final score through three turns of 44 to 29 in favor of Tyco and the new Tyranid Codex. Lots of fun. Super stoked. Tyranids rock. Eating brains. Tyco's a great opponent to play. He played into the story part of this as much as he played into the game part. And so that was a blast on the tabletop. I got to say, some of the new rules in the Tyranid Codex are absolutely fantastic. I feel if TAC had a slightly different list, this game would have come out differently, but talk about forging a narrative, talk about telling a story. We talk about how dice tell stories, but sometimes we like to as well. And the concept of an ultramarine scout force finding the big bug, sacrificing everything for it, and taking it down. We got to play out a great story here. We got to see the new Tyranids. I got to paint new Tyranids. Tycho got to play new Tyranids. We got to see what a codex looks like in this new edition. Special thanks to this episode's sponsor, Baron of Dice. Thank you to Baron of Dice for not only supplying the dice that we played in this game, but also the play on dice. Please check out Baron of Dice. Thanks to Tycho and Attack for a fantastic game and showing off what this new Tyranid codex has in it. That was a lot of fun. Thank you again for watching. If you like what we do, please consider supporting us through YouTube membership or Patreon. You'll get exclusive releases as well as behind the scenes interviews, early access to most of our shows, and access to our Discord, the most happening 40K community around. Well, that's it for all of us here at the Play On Studios. Thank you again for watching. As always, this has been your host, JT. And until the next time we see you in the far future. Uh, JT uh, got mad at me last time because I wrote a script and then completely messed up the order in which we do the outro. Is it well, until we see you next time in the far flung future of a Grimdark Universe? In the far flung future of a Grimdark Universe. Okay. Until we see you next time in the Grimdark Universe of a far flung future, play, play on! on! <laughs> <laughs>